Hi guys, this is another little compilation um, section, a little um, supplement from um, a magazine, much missed magazine called TV Film Memorabilia, which was formerly Collector Model and Collector's Mart um, here in the UK. Um, no longer exists, which is really unfortunate, but I'm um, bringing you some little snippets, Star Wars snippets from the magazine. This one is from, where are we, uh, July 2007. And inside there is a free Star Wars supplement. So let's get on and have a look at it. It's quite long, so this is going to be a lengthy video. Grab yourself a cup of tea and a pack of biscuits. Right, so I do what I always do. I'll show you um, the pages, then I just go through the um, sections reasonably quickly, and you can pause whenever you like. So we're in HD, so um, it's all going to be nice and clear for you. So I've never taken this, actually, this supplement. I've had a look at it several times, but... Um, oh, right, there you go. There's the... First double page. So you can pause this whenever you can to catch up with the text. As always, this is a. a oh, oh, oh. There we go. Oh, try it, that's focused. This is an old magazine, so don't listen to any of the, um, completely ignore any of the valuations. So I'm a little bit a big fan of um, books that um, give you valuations, because the time the book's published, the valuation in the books absolutely out of date so things go up things go down so there's no point actually putting a valuation on things I don't think but um as my wise grandfather told me very early on never collect anything for the value collect it because you like it because if you're collecting for value and the bottom drops out of the market you're going to be left with a load of stuff that you're going to he was a wise man. So that's why I collect Star Wars, not for any sort of value side of things. It's because I, I enjoy it. It does mean I'm very easy to buy for as well. coming up. Eventually, focus, look at that. Loving the modern technology. Please ignore any background noise. There's a lot going on around my around my area at the moment. I'm going to show you these bits and finish the text. 
but uh, the text does continue over the next page, so you have to remember what you've just read. <laughs> Very right. Here's the next. Here's the next two. Still more to come. I'm going to try and speak through this, but just so that I do pause and catch up. Flutterly will get you everywhere. I do have quite a few Star Wars stamps in my collection. That's, uh, I never really thought about it, but I do. nice when the stamps have original artwork and it's not just something, another picture that's just been reproduced for a whole myriad of things. bit about the American USPS R2D2 mailboxes. Absolutely fantastic. I would love to have had one of those. That is something I would absolutely I would love to have in my collection would be one of those post boxes. Electro sets are great. Hey, I have these. They are superb. Still close up there for Lego Master Call. Take you through that. Yeah, that's lovely. Yeah, 
Yeah, I remember seeing that in, in comics and magazines over here, and it's just really exciting to see that. I remember when they came out, um, for episode one. Ah, uh, the Tazo, that was a really good, really good set that was. This is this is something they used to do. I didn't run you through that. I don't know if you got that. It's um, a, a postal auction they used to do in the magazine, which was um, quite interesting. I guess eBay killed that. <laughs> quite an interesting thing for a magazine to do, I guess. Obviously, too late to enter, guys, so don't be sending any bids to this address. Right, I'm going to save the top 10 vintage Dodge collectibles for another vid because this is getting a bit long now. Right, guys, as always, thank you very much for watching, and you can catch this one up on a vid coming up soon. As always, May the force be with you. Bye for now.